Hi, my name's John Barry. Welcome to another video tutorial about Premiere Pro. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create and composite simulated rain in Premiere Pro CS4. I'll show you some footage here that is shot during the daytime. It's clearly not raining, but I'm going to design or create a layer of rain and then I'm going to composite it over the top and give it some effects so then it looks like the footage looks more like a rainy day rather than the sunny day that it actually was shot on. So I'm going to start with a new sequence simulated rain okay simulated rain now first thing we need is our footage and the bit of footage that I've used is this section here. I've already marked it out. So I'm just going to add that to the timeline. And I'll zoom right in on here. And there's our guys walking along. Right, now in video track 2, I want to add a black video. Now you can go into the create new uh, shortcut and then go to black video. Now what you're going to get is this little clip just here. It's just black plain black video and it can go on for as long as you need it to go for. I'm going to drag it over the top of here and then I'm going to move my playhead and snap it using page up. Cut that out. And clearly the black video on top of the video footage means it's just black. So first thing we want to do is convert the black video into something that looks more like rain. Now we need to use one of the effects in here. So the one that we're looking for is called cell pattern. Now I've just typed in cell, it's under video effects, generate cell pattern. I'm going to add that to the black video and then I'm going to go to my cell pattern controls inside the effect controls tab. I'll twirl that down and I'm going to play with a lot of the settings inside of the cell pattern effect. The first thing I want to change is the bubbles. I want to make that crystals. Then I want my contrast at about 600. I want my overflow set to soft clamp. Then I want my disperse set to the highest it can go which is 1.5. The size is definitely going to make all the difference in the world so I want to make that three so we've got this tiny tiny little dots happening here the next thing I want to do is look at setting up some of these evolution options now this will make the dots appear like they're moving this, uh, this sort of grain look make it look like it's moving simulate that kind of move so I'm going to go through the random seed. I'm going to animate that. First keyframe to start my animation, I'm going to hit the stopwatch. Then I'll move down the timeline here and I'll start to change the figure or the number of the random seed. And we should be able to see how that's actually changing. 25. That works for me. Now in order to get the, this to look more like rain, we need to add another effect called Direction All Blur. And we'll just add that on top. And we'll twirl that down, add a bit of blur length first. I'm going to go with about 10 to start with. And that looks like falling straight down. So maybe we'll add a little bit of an angle here. I might make it 30. Alright, now that's starting to look a bit more like rain. Let's see if we can't make this contrast a little higher. It's looking a bit better. We might play with this clamping. Have a look at wrap it back. Okay, that looks a bit better. Now we just got to notice that the bottom here, it's kind of feathering out. In order to fix that or correct or compensate for that we need to go to the motion section and just scale this up just a touch so I'm going to go to about 110 and then I'm going to move this down and to the right just a bit as well okay so there we go that looks 
like rain to me. Now, if we want to see how that looks, we should render it and have a look. I'll just hit render. And this might take a little while, so I'll come back once this is finished rendering out. We'll have a look at how that looks. That's actually not too bad. That looks pretty good. At this stage, I'm happy with it. I think once we composite it over the top of the footage of the guys walking, it's actually going to look pretty good. So in order to composite this, CS4 has now got a new ability inside of the opacity twirl, a blend mode. Now the one that we want to go for is either overlay, soft light, hard light, screen, somewhere there. Okay, overlay looks pretty good. If we go to soft light, yeah, it, it thins out that look of the rain, just probably a bit too much. Hard light. Okay, hard light has given me something here that I think works really, really well. I've got this, the white streaks of what would be rain, uh, so I'm going to leave it on hard light. Now the next thing we need to do is change the footage, affect the footage so it looks more like a cloudy, gloomy, rainy day. I'm going to go into the color correction and select fast color corrector and add that to our footage underneath. Then I'm going to go into the color wheel and drag it into the blue section. Okay, now it looks a bit cold and drizzly and dreary sort of looking day. I'm happy with that. I might pull the saturation down as well because when it's a, a cloudy day there's not so much vibrancy of light, vibrancy of colour. So I'm going to pull that right down to about 80%. Okay, it's looking good already. Now the last thing I want to do is tinker with the input levels. Because it's going to be a dark day, I actually want to crush the blacks. Okay, and I might play with the amount of grey sort of area, which will make it look less contrasty. Then I'm going to change the output of what white looks like and make white look a bit more like grey. Okay, and just keep tweaking that until I'm happy with it. And that's, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. So now, if I use the uh, toggle here to switch the effect on and off, we can see what looks like day and some effect over the top and maybe something that looks a bit more like a gloomy, ugly day. The last thing I'm going to do, just to finally make this look just that little bit better, it's just a bit too bright up the top here, so I'm going to use the black video again. And I'm just going to make sure that I use this effect called ramp. Now it's in generate. And what ramp does is creates this gradient tone. Again, I'm going to go into the opacity. I'm going to look at the blend mode. I'm going to go to multiply. And that's too heavy. But I'm going to pull that down to about 30%. That looks a bit better. And I might change the colour to more of a blue tone. Get something that's in that blue. Just to further further simulate that, that sort of coloration of blue. Turning it on and off that layer, we can see how that actually does affect everything else. And it's not too bad. Now that looks quite a bit like rain. Render it out and we'll have a look. And that to me looks like a rainy day, all designed and composited in Premiere Pro CS4. Thanks for joining me. Ciao for now.